Hello YouTube friends. Uh, I'm back on this uh, Honda Odyssey alternator change out and this is my second day uh, working on it, not full days. I've could, I probably did uh, two to three hours worth of work on it yesterday and I got the alternator out, got the new alternator installed. Just wanted to cover a few things. This is, hopefully this will be kind of like an introductory uh, part of the video. Uh, the first thing is I did a little different approach on this one. I chose to take the uh, the front bumper cover off and the reason is the, it, it wasn't installed properly from a previous repair that was done at a shop. Uh, a lot of the, the, uh, the little attachment plugs were missing and different things so it was almost off anyway so we went ahead and pulled it off and got it out of the way and I would have probably taken it off anyway because you can see so much better without it and it makes it easy to pull the uh, the right the passenger side headlight out which I would prefer to do that every time I change the alternator out it's uh, not that difficult to take that headlight out and you get so so much better access and better uh, able to see everything and uh, this washer tank here is easy to uh, get out of the way if you take that out uh, so and that that's shown in different parts of the video this video will be uh, posted in different sections showing some of the different steps uh, because this is uh, I would rate this on up towards one of the more difficult DIY projects it's that absolutely doable for uh, mechanically inclined people with a little bit with pretty good bit of experience but uh, especially with all the YouTube videos out there on it uh, just want to cover a few uh, topics a little points on this uh, make sure you get in a well-lit area one area to work on this vehicle because everything down in here is dark um, if I would have parked on the other side of the garage I would have had more sunlight and that's what I should have done you can see I've been sort of uh, hanging this little dangling light around so I can see everything and of course my eyesight's not the best in the world but uh, still that's what it is and so get it in a well lit area if you have that option uh, you don't have to take the front bumper cover and the headlight off but I think I would do it anytime I change out a Honda Odyssey uh, headlight uh, another thing is I mean Honda Odyssey alternator another here's another point the alternator went out because the VVT valve went out start well the gasket went bad and leaked the hot dirty oil down onto the alternator so that ruined the alternator and the package that I bought, got the new alternator in warns you against that and it says that uh, it's cheaper to replace a VVT gasket than it is to replace the gasket and the alternator later so Bear that in mind if your car's got over 100,000 miles, or maybe it's over 10 years old. Uh, that VVT gasket is not that difficult to change out. And that's, I've got that in another video uh, on YouTube. So uh, this would be a good time if you want to spend another $160 to really doll up your older minivan. Don't laugh at my uh, prop there. Uh, that's a golf club, six iron. Uh, I've cleaned these uh, headlights up about six or eight months ago and they're already starting to dull out again and uh, the owner doesn't want to pay uh, for the headlights right now because you know the expense of the alternator uh, which we got a 25 percent discount on at advanced auto check out that if you uh, by ordering it online and picking it up in the store we got 25 percent off so that's significant savings okay so uh, the headlight out I would have had to pull that out anyway because on this particular one it had a very stubborn super tight uh, nut on top of the uh, on top of the alternator the one that holds the main cable on right there I've never seen one that tight before and if I would have twisted it more I would have ruined the cable so I had to get in there and secure that with uh, some vice grips and a screwdriver to hold the cable from twisting 
while I put a lot of pressure on that uh, on that nut to get it off. So I would have had to take the cover and the headlight off anyway on this particular one. If your car is newer and cleaner and everything comes uh, comes apart easier, you could do it without taking the headlight out. Uh, and most people, uh, that's the way they do it. Uh, that, well, the videos online show it not being a. Uh, I've been a, I bent a three eighths inch breaker bar when uh, releasing the belt tension uh, down in here. Well, it'll be easier to show you right here. Uh, let's see, right, right in there. That's the 19 millimeter. Uh, molding on there that you uh, put a uh, socket on and rock it uh, counterclockwise to loosen up the belts. Well, I used a 3 8 inch uh, breaker bar instead of a half inch breaker bar and I put a pipe on it to get a little extra leverage and uh, I bent my breaker bar. So have you a, a good uh, half inch. I don't know if you can see the bend in it. <laughs> Have you a good half inch breaker bar with a 916 uh, with a 19 millimeter socket ready to go? So you'll need a 19 millimeter socket with a half inch breaker bar, and you'll need uh, 12 millimeter sockets, 14 millimeter sockets. Uh, here's some of the tools I used. I didn't use all these tools, but I've laid them back on 10 millimeter socket. You'll need some extensions. Uh, this longer one and two of these shorter ones to get the different things in there. Uh, so that's all. Uh, that, that, it's not a lot of tools that it takes. Um, take the just go ahead and take the the uh, dipstick out, lay it off to the side, and take this uh, aggravating hood prop out of the way and get it out of the way. I I'm gonna lay that off to the side. I just put it there. Here are the parts I still have to put back on. This is not, because this this is the one that goes on the old alternator. Um, that's the bracket for uh, this power steering fluid. I've got a couple more bolts, three more bolts to put on. Two of the bolts will be for that, and uh, there'll be bolts, uh, I think, for the headlight. This little piece broke off of this... Uh, this part here, I had to uh, pry these little, I had to open this up to slide it up so that I could actually get my, uh, uh, so I had to access more than most people will have. Uh, actually this this nut right here holds that in. I've still got to put a put a, that bolt right in there. Uh, so I had to do a little more than the average bear on, on this part right in here. I had to uh, pry these little clips loose and they were not meant to come loose. Slide this up so I could get actually get my vice grips and screwdriver in there to stabilize that so it wouldn't twist that wire all up. Uh, so that's it. Uh, just wanted to give you that little bit. Let me see if I had anything else on my notes here. That's pretty much easy. The, uh, the alternator body, the new one, went in very easily. And I think one of the reasons is I had a lot of room to access here. You, I know you can work them back in through here from the top because I've seen other videos where they've done it. And uh, if yours works that well that way, do it that way. Uh, this right here, loosen. Another video had the... Uh, the uh, person loosened the bolts for the air conditioner compressor. I wanted to avoid that uh, pretty much at all costs. So I did it without loosening the air conditioner compressor uh, and maybe getting this kind of access this way uh, gave me that little bit of an advantage. So, okay YouTube, appreciate you watching all the videos. I'll post these in sections probably on the different steps. Have a great day.